But Ukrainians are still trying to grapple with their country under attack as East Texans scramble to find ways to help. Our Shondell Manis has one Ukrainian man's story as he escaped Russian troops. In the midst of chaos, Ukrainian Vasil Stafurak says there's no time to be afraid. You know, that's the situation that you become scared after the second day uh, of war was the most terrific. A Ukrainian missile struck down a Russian jet right above his home, spiraling out of the sky. Here you see it crash just over one mile away from his front door. His family decided it was too dangerous to stay in Kiev, so they headed west to Ternopil. At some point on the road, the Russian fighter approached us pretty low, probably two, three hundred meters above our heads. But he, he, he ignored us completely because probably had a, he had another mission. The car ride that normally takes him five to six hours took two days. They moved beside countless families escaping the blows. More than two million people have evacuated Ukraine since the war began. It's just very heart-wrenching to know uh, that these people are enduring this type of constant bombardment. East Texans like Brad Bunt are gathering resources to donate to Ukrainians like his dear friend Stefurak, who says he's safe and not leaving until the war is over. This is for the first time in my life, you know, because this is also the first war in my life. And that's like nightmare for me. I still can't realize completely that this is happening to me, you know. For CBS 19, I'm Shondell Maniz. East Texas Friends of Ukraine is an organization that has raised more than $30,000 to help an ally country under fire. To assist the East Texas Friends of Ukraine, ad address your donation to East Texas Friends of Ukraine, P.O. Box 572, Longview, Texas, zip code 75660.